uh, welcome again. So uh, we have uh, here me and Dr. Nawaf and Dr. Uh, my mentor, Dr. Adel Al Ghamdi. So we have a young patient, a female. Uh, she was presented with a cholestatic picture, all autoimmune marker, viral hepatitis, uh, imaging uh, is turned to be negative, and she denied any herbal uh, intake. So we will demonstrate uh, uh, US-guided uh, liver biopsy in this patient. So we are seeing here is uh, the liver part. So here uh, there is a left hepatic vein, left hepatic vein, and this is in a segment two and segment three. And the US, if we withdraw the scope back, can you please enlarge can... the US image, audiovisual, make the US big, uh, image bigger, please? Can can we have the US image uh, bigger, please? US. So, so for the liver biopsy, uh, as, as Nawaf mentioned, I mean, the, the aim is, and also if we go uh, more clockwise, we're going towards the, the, the heart, so we can look at the anatomy. So Nawaf now is going clockwise. So we can see here the IVC, okay, the inferior vena cava, and the vessels going down posteriorly is the right uh, hepatic vein. And the most distal or the most far away segment will be segment eight. And the closest segment to the transducer is segment one. Uh, so, I, so Adil, can you use the cursor, please? Can you use the sure. cursor? Yeah, sure. So I'm just going to put here. Good. Okay, so uh, now off we can go back to the a uh, little bit more clockwise. So now off now going towards the, the heart, just to show you here. I'll take the flow out. Okay, yeah. so if we go more, so now actually we are examining the liver from the GE junction, okay? So, so we can see here the first uh, 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 structure, if we go a little bit to the right, now off, you go a little bit clockwise, 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 even more clockwise. So, uh, Adil, uh, when you do liver biopsy, uh, you put your uh, probe, uh, endoscopy where? In the bulb? Um, the yeah, so we start the examination from the GE junction. So now we can see here the inferior vena cava, okay, opening down. We can see, you can see the cursor here. So whatever vessels here is actually the right hepatic vein that's going down. So if we keep going counterclockwise, will go from the most right, uh, uh, sorry, most uh, uh, right side where we can see here the IVC and the right hepatic vein going into the middle hepatic vein and the left hepatic vein. So now Nawaf will go more counterclockwise, trying to find the best segment to, to put a needle where there is no vasculature on the way. So now we can see here, this is the middle hepatic vein going counterclockwise. So we have segment one. You can see the cursor close to the transducer. Yes. And if we keep going left, we will see the left hepatic vein also separating segment two from segment three. So now during examination, Nawaf will find the best place to stick a needle. So I think this area is a good one. Avoiding the vasculature will be here. Maybe if we can go more counter, now off, counterclockwise, counterclockwise, yeah, that yeah. So, so that, that's, that's a good area. We need at least three centimeter distance where we can put the needle and get a good core biopsy. For, for the liver biopsy, there are different techniques. All the studies showed with heparin suction is, is the way to go. And we can see here, if you can show us in the camera, we have the needle. We are using the Easy Shot uh, Olympus uh, Easy Shot 3 needle. And we already took the stylet out from the needle. 
we already prepared 5 cc of heparin. We put 2 cc of heparin in a negative pressure syringe that we will hook to the needle. We have a 3 cc remaining. First, 1 cc, we'll use it to prime the needle. Did we prime the needle first? Okay. So the needle was primed with 1 cc heparin column. So we can see now all the needle has heparin inside. And also we're going to put here a negative pressure needle that has 2 cc of heparin. We will use it for the wet heparin suction technique. So we'll connect it from now. We always keep it locked. We don't unlock before the needle inside the liver, so to avoid contamination. Yeah. Very so now nice Nawaf is preparing uh, the needle in position. Very nice demonstration, Dr. Adel. We will give you uh, three minutes, and then we'll switch to the fluoroscopy room. Are you going to switch now, Saad, or...? Uh... No, we'll wait for the biopsy, and then we will switch. Okay, sounds good. So we have the needle in place. So we will unlock the needle. Can see the catheter? Yes, the tip of catheter is good. So we can see the catheter at the tip of the echo endoscope. Is that 22 or a 19 gauge needle? Down, so over here, we're trying to collect data on prospective liver biopsies. So we're only using 19 gauge uh, standardized. Avoid any good. So we're trying to get a best position we can. Yeah. So I think that's really a, a, a good position. Before we stick the needle, we always go clockwise, counterclockwise, just to make sure we are avoiding any vessels. So that will be a good one. So we will insert the needle now. Yeah. So we can see the needle now. It's going in. We will advance the needle until the end to the opposite side. Okay. Maybe if you remove the fluoro, will help you visualize the tip a bit better. Yeah, well, so we'll, we'll just out. take the flow out. Different? Okay, so we can see now the needle, it's at least two centimeters into the hepatic parenchyma. So once the needle is in, we will open the syringe. So we'll start the negative. So Nawaf will go all the way. 10, 20. Yeah. Uh, no, we're using a negative pressure. It's a 10 cc uh, syringe, negative pressure. Okay. As you can see here, we already opened the suction. We have to close it. And we already went three times in and out. So before we get the needle out, I close the negative pressure syringe, sure. and then we get the needle out. And, and I'm sorry, have you flushed uh, the, the needle with any uh, heparin or just saline? or? That's right. So, yeah, exactly. So before we start live, because before we introduce the needle into the scope channel, we flush the needle with one cc of heparin until we see the drip of heparin coming out from the needle. Nice. And then we hook the uh, needle to the negative pressure syringe, which has 2 cc of heparin. So that will be a wet heparin suction technique. We go three actuation, one pass, at least 2 to 3 centimeter into the liver parenchyma. Then we close the suction port before we get the needle out. And then we'll push the sample into the formalin using the remaining uh, one cc of heparin that we have uh, drawn initially before the procedure. That's very So beautiful. that's the main, yeah, that's the main uh, trick is actually to push the sample with a heparin or even saline, not to use an air flush or a, a stylet to avoid fragmentation of the sample. Absolutely. Absolutely. So Adil, uh, um, when, when this uh, biopsy go to a pathologist, uh, this is more adequate uh, liver biopsy than the usual we used to do. Is it uh, 
more than 2.5 centimeter, 10 portal track, very good piece. It is, it is, Hamad. So there are different studies that show different results. However, we have more recent meta-analysis that showed equivalent uh, adequacy comparing the needle uh, EOS guided and percutaneous. And the reason for that, because the older studies that showed more accurate percutaneous, actually the fine needle biopsy needle was the old, the old version. The needles were old version included in the studies. But more recently, we have the, the newer version, the shark core needle okay. and the, uh, the acquired needle, which has similar adequacy and sometimes even superior compared to the pair Thank containers. you, thank, thank you, you Adel. Now we need to move to the floral room. Okay. Control thank you, case. everyone.